President Joe Biden is in Japan for the G7 summit today. Our Washington correspondent John Decker is also there keeping up with the president's schedule. He joins us live now. John, good morning. Day one of the G7 summits now over. What was accomplished and, and what was on the president's agenda? Yeah, it was a busy day for President Biden today. It began with G7 leaders paying a visit to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Uh, there they uh, toured that privately. They also met with a survivor of the Hiroshima atomic bomb attack from 1945. After that, they got down to business. The focus today, Nick, was on the war in Ukraine. And at the end of the day, we received uh, a lengthy statement uh, in which the G7 leaders, including the United States, reaffirmed their commitment to Ukraine militarily in terms of humanitarian aid and also in terms of economic assistance. And they also reaffirmed that there will be even tighter sanctions imposed upon Russia. They want to make it certain that Russia cannot rebuild its war machine and that no technology from those G7 countries gets to Russia to include it in their war effort. And a message there. But, John, looming over this G7 is the very real concern that the U.S. will default on its debt obligations. Has the White House provided any update today on whether a deal is in reach to avoid that default? Yes, I received word from a very senior White House official that they still express optimism that a deal can be reached. And back home in Washington, D.C., similar optimism expressed by the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy. He said he does see a path for getting an agreement, getting a deal done. So the president, as you know, has cut short his overseas trip. He's canceled his trip to Australia, to Papua New Guinea, so he can get back to Washington, D.C. at the conclusion of this summit on Sunday. And uh, the White House hopes to seal the deal once he gets back. Next week is a very pivotal week as far as those debt ceiling talks are concerned. During day two of the summit, and will President Biden hold a press conference there in Hiroshima? Yes, a, a press conference is scheduled to be held on day three of the summit. That's on Sunday. That's actually the final event of the president's time here in Hiroshima, Japan. And that, then, then after that, he flies back to the United States. But uh, tomorrow for us, uh, later in the day for you, the president will be meeting with other G7 leaders. He's going to break away to have a separate meeting with the leaders of India, Japan, and Australia. That meeting was initially supposed to take place in Sydney, Australia. And he'll also break away to have a separate meeting with the leaders of South Korea and Japan. The focus on both of those meetings primarily will be China, the strategic threat that it poses to the region, and also China as it relates to its economic and trade policies, which the U.S. views as very unfair to G7 countries. All right, that was our Washington correspondent, John Decker. Thank you, John. Let's head over now to our meteorologist, Joey Sovine, for a check Thank you. on the weather.